Out of it, I don't understand. Standing confused in an Arizona jail. This whole thing makes no sense to me. The now 83-year-old former Catholic priest and former New Mexico resident John Fight is facing a murder charge from 56 years ago. Fight is accused of kidnapping and killing a Texas school teacher and beauty queen, Irene Garza. The case might be familiar. Tonight on 48 Hours. CBS News featured the cold case on 48 Hours in July 2014. Irene Garza vanished long ago in April 1960. She was last seen at confession. The priest who took that confession, John Fight. Garza's body showed up days later in a canal in McAllen, Texas, near the Mexico border. Her family has always suspected Fight. He will be held accountable. That's what drives me. Even Texas police say Fight was their only suspect. But according to 48 Hours Investigation, in 1960, the Catholic Church cut a deal with police and investigators dropped the case. The church sent Fight to a monastery in Missouri where he supposedly told others what he did to Garza. I was told that he had killed a woman and then asked if we could see if he would fit in in the monastery and possibly become a monk. According to an article on Garza's murder by Texas Monthly, Fight left the monastery for New Mexico in the 1960s, where he stayed at the Servants of the Paraclete compound near Jemez Springs. For six years, he worked his way into a top role. That compound has earned a notorious reputation as a place where for years the Catholic Church sheltered priests who were accused of sexual assault. Fight's been a free man his whole life and denied a role in Garza's murder. Did you kill Irene Garza? No. But now there's a new chapter. On special assignment, Chris McKee, KRQE News 13.